Amen. Praise God. We thank God for giving us life this morning. Amen. And we are grateful. Praise God. Well, God bless everyone again. Those of you on the line today, those at home, on the hospital. Amen. In your car, in your business place. Wherever you are, God have a miracle with your name on it. God is good. We expect great things from the Lord today. Amen. And we thank God for his grace. I say thank God for grace. Amen. And I'm so grateful this morning for all the saints of God that is in the house this morning. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We honor you. We bless you. We thank you, Lord God, because you are God and there is none like you. We thank you, God, because it is you who have made us and not we ourselves. We thank you for this opportunity, this privilege to come into your presence today. For in your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand there is pleasures forevermore. Have your way today, God, and bless your people in a special way. Show yourself strong and mighty on the behalf of them that trust you. Lord, we look to you from whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from you. You made the heavens and the earth. All things were made by you, and without you there is nothing made that was made. Bless our hearts today. Have your way in this house. God, even those who are at home, those in the hospital, God, let the anointed of God saturate their home and bring healing, deliverance, whatever they are dealing with, God, that you work it out on their behalf. And Father, today, we trust you. Our eyes are on you. We leave you for great and mighty things. And Father God, we ask that you'll anoint the preachers, anoint the song leaders, O oh God, the organist, the drummer. As we worship you in songs and praise, anoint the congregation of the righteous with a fresh praise, O God, and a fresh adoration to your name. Because you deserve the glory, you deserve the honor. And Lord God, we are, we trust you today. We trust you for great things. Send forth your power in this house, God. Let there be showers of blessings today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we call on your name. For we know that you hear us when we call. Bless us today, God, in a mighty way. Our eyes are on you. We trust you. We believe you for it, for great things. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone just clap your hands. Give the Lord a praise right now. God is good. Come on. We might as well praise him today. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. My, my, my. Come on. Just give him a praise. Give him a praise. Ain't nobody can do you like Jesus. Ain't nobody can do you like the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. My soul say yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord God omnipotent. He reigns forever and forevermore. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. Glory to God. If you're glad that you're here, tell him thank you. My God, my God, my God, my God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise him. There is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do for i'm turned through all eternity long yes. and by there is none like Come on, everybody, let's sing it together. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. For I turn through all eternity long and by. Come on, 
song. Let's sing it again. There is none. There is none like you. No. For I have yes. passed yes. through all no. eternity, love, and by there is and by and by there is none like you. Can we sing it one more time? There is none. There. For no one else, no one else can touch my heart like you do. For I have touched, I have touched you all. Come on, give him praise. There's none like you, Lord. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you cared for me. It's such a special way. That's why I pray. Lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart and my mind say, my heart, my mind, my soul belong to you. You paid the price for me. You paid the price. Way back on Calvary. Way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I lift you up. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, let's say that again. My heart and my mind. My heart. My soul belongs to you. My soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me. You, you paid, paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. Way, Way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I lift you up. And I magnify. And I magnify your name. That's why. 
Come on, let's sing it one more time. I love you, Lord. Everybody say, I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care. Because you care for me. Such a special way. In such a special way. That's why I and I lift you up, I lift you up, and I magnify your name. Oh, that's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why I praise you. That's why I praise. I lift you up, I lift you up, and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many came to give God worship this morning? He's worthy of our praise. Amen. Amen. When I wake up in the morning, amen, I just want to give God praise for what he's done for me. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to ask our minister Steel if he would prepare a scripture reading for us this morning. Amen. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with prayer, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, oh Lord. Come on, everybody. With my head, with my head lifted. With my mouth filled with praise. With, my mouth filled with, praise. with a heart of thanksgiving. With, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Come on, open your mouth and say, I'll bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Oh, yes, I will. I will bless thee, oh with a heart of thanksgiving, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Come on, everybody, with my hand, with, with my, my head lifted, my mouth filled with praise, my mouth filled with praise, with a heart of thanksgiving, with a heart of I will bless thee, oh Lord. Now everybody open your mouth and say, I bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Yes, I will. I will bless thee, oh Lord. With a heart of thank you. With a heart of thank you. I will bless thee. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Can we go a little bit higher? I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, we are Can we go one more time? Yeah, I will bless the Lord. Yes, I will. I will bless the Lord. Yes, I will. I will bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. With a heart of thanksgiving. 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 
thanksgiving with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee. I will bless thee alone. With a heart, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless Can we do it one more time? And I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all, and all that is within me, bless Can we just do it one more time, everybody together? I will bless the Lord, and I will bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless. Give him a praise. came to me, Brother Terry, and said, I am amazed at yes. your glory. Yes, Lord. I am amazed at your power. And it came to me that at the age of seven, I had to learn how to swallow pills. I was so sick, they rushed me to the hospital almost every other week. One time I was so sick that the cops had to take me from the third floor and rush me downstairs in front of, my, of the projects because they didn't think I would make it down the steps. I had an asthma attack, so the cops had to carry me to the ambulance. I got married and I um, believed in working. Even went to work sick. One day I got dressed, put my uniform on, and that was all I could do. I, bet. I sat back down and called an ambulance. When I, 
got to the hospital, the nurse thought I was going to die. I'm here today. Amen. Amen. So I'm reading Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 30, because I am amazed yes. yeah. of your power. Yes, Amen. Amen. You have the word say, word. Amen. Amen. You read one, I'll read the other. While he yet spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. Come. And lay thy hands upon her, and she shall live. Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman, which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years, came behind him and touched him, the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, mm -hmm. If I may but touch his garment, I shall. But Jesus turned about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making noise, he said to them, Give, give place, for the, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. And the fame thereof, thereof went abroad into all that land. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on him. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? And they said unto him, Yes, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. Thirty together, and, and their, their eyes, eyes were made open. open. And, Jesus and Jesus straightway charged them, saying, See that no man know. May the Lord continue to bless the reading of his word. Amen. God bless you. In all my life you have been faithful. Come on, church. Come on, let me hear your thing. In all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will tell of the goodness. Come on, everybody sing it. All my life, in all my life, you have been faithful. In all my life, in all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, I will sing, I will sing. Come on, one more time. Open your mouth and say, All my life, in all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, in all my life, you have been so, so good. Every prayer, every breath that I am. I will see, I will see oh, the goodness of God. Come on, one more time. Everybody's had all my life. In all my life, you have been faithful. You've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful all my life. In all my life, you have been so good. You've been so good. Every prayer, in every prayer that I am I will sing, I will sing, oh, 
the goodness of God. Come on, one more time. Lift your voice and say, all my life, in all my life, you have been faithful. Come on, all my life, all my life, you have been so, so good. Every prayer, every prayer that I am, I will sing. Come on, let's say it one more time softly. All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been so, so. Sing it one more time. Everybody sing it. All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. Come on, church. Let's sing it together. All of my life, and all my life, you have been so, so good. Every breath, with every breath. I will sing, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yes, I'll sing, yes, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, with every breath, everybody say, with every breath, with every breath that I am able. Come on, say it again. With every breath that with every breath that I am made. Come on, say it again. With every breath. With every breath that I am made. Come on, one more time. With every breath. Yes, I will, I will see of the goodness of God. Can we do it one more time? With every breath, everybody say it. With every breath that I am able. Do you really mean it? Say with every breath, I'm able. With every breath. It's running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Dad, again, your goodness, your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me With my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything Your goodness is running after It's running after me 
Your goodness is running out. It's running out. Come on, Pat. Your goodness. Your goodness is running out. Oh, it's running out. Oh, with my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness, your goodness is running out. It's running out. Come on, one more time. Your goodness, your goodness is running out. It's running out. Your goodness, your goodness is running out. It's running out. In all my life. All my life you have been faithful. No life you have been so good. With every breath that I come on, everybody lift them hands and say, with every breath. With every breath that I am able, with every breath that I'm able, with every breath that I am able, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. As our bishop comes, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Oh yes, I will. Oh yes, I, I will. Of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running out. It's running out. Your goodness is running out, is running after me. With my life lay down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, is running out. Jesus. Nobody can do you like the Lord. He is my friend. 
He is my burden bearer. He is my shelter. In the time of storm, He is my joy and sorrow. He's my peace for tomorrow. He is everything I need. I have found in Jesus Christ. And we thank him and we give him praise this morning. We'd like to welcome you all to our Sunday morning service, the second day of our two-day revival. Hallelujah. The theme of the revival is divine intervention. And how many of you need God to do something for you today in your life? You need God to intervene in your situation. You need God to turn things around. You need a breakthrough. You need, hallelujah, God, to open doors that no man can shut. To make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. He is, glory to God, what you need this morning. And we are so grateful. We'd like to welcome all of our visitors. If you're here for the first time, we welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We don't like to call you a visitor. We like to call you a very special guest. And we're so glad to have all of you in the house of the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see some of you fanning. What's that? What's going on? (laughs) Oh, it's hot. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Praise the Lord. God is good. And we're so glad for all of you in the house of the Lord. Amen. We are thanking God last, I believe last Sunday was Mother's Day. And I pray that you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Amen. Remember, if your day wasn't that good, remember what the Bible says, when my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. You have a friend in Jesus. He is everything you need. He'll be a mother to the motherless, a father to the fatherless. And we thank God for that this morning. And we are so grateful for all that the Lord has done for us. And we get ready to receive the word of the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the third Sunday. Amen. Of the month, the middle of the month. This year is going pretty fast, ain't it? But the Lord is keeping us. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for each and every one of you that are in the house of the Lord today. Amen. So without no further delay, praise God, we're going to get ready to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. This is the day two of our amen um, mid of the month revival amen and the theme is divine intervention and we're believing god to intervene on your behalf today god bless you praise the lord next week probably amen we'll have a youth sunday next i see some of the youth leaders here let's prepare for next sunday have a youth sunday fifth sunday women sunday amen praise the lord hallelujah Even though we're going through a pandemic, we can't stop doing the Lord's will. Praise the Lord. Amen. We got to keep on working for the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. And we are thankful and grateful to the Lord. Some churches have had to close down. Some have had to relocate. Amen. But the Lord is keeping us. And we are giving God thanks and praise for that. And I'm thanking God for you and you and especially you. Praise the Lord. I just remembered... Some of our students will be graduating this month and next month. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for all of our students. Amen. Honor roll students. Amen. Praise the Lord. And all the students here, we give God thanks and praise for you. And we'll be celebrating you shortly. Amen. Giving God thanks for you. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get ready to receive the word of the Lord today. Amen. Without no further delay, praise God, we have our revivalists. Amen. A wonderful speaker and teacher and preacher of the word of God. Amen. He's not only, praise God, hallelujah, foreign field overseer, general secretary, but he's also a friend and a brother. Amen. And without no further delay, we introduce the speaker for this morning. Let's receive him with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Apostle Dr. Delroy Smith. Why don't you clap your hands and give the Lord a praise, everybody. Come on, give Jesus a praise. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, we can give him another praise. Ain't nobody can do you like Jesus. Nobody can do you like the Lord. Amen. You may be seated, please. We thank God today, amen, for a bishop, amen, the pastor of this great church and general overseer of the triumphant church of Jesus Christ worldwide. Let's give the Lord a praise for the bishop. 
and Lady Gail Brown. God is good. I say God is good. Amen. We thank God because it's the grace of God while we're here this morning. Amen. Jeremiah said it's the Lord's mercies while we're not consumed. Neither his compassion faileth not. They are new every morning and great is thy faithfulness. Thank God because he's faithful. Amen. He don't have to do anything to be faithful. He's faithful all by himself. I say he's faithful all by himself. Amen. And I'm grateful. I thank God, amen, for all the saints of God here today. Amen. Wherever you're from, wherever you are today. Amen. Whether you're in the hospital or you're at home. Amen. Wherever you are, today is your special day for your breakthrough. Amen. God is specializes in breakthrough. Amen. And he specializes in doing in things that are impossible. I thank God, amen, for my wife, amen, and family. Amen. Who's with us this morning and all the saints of God. Amen. Some of the eagles, amen, some are visiting with us today. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for Minister John T. Brown and Organ and the Sister Claudia that led us and Dana is in the house. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Amen. Minister Steele, amen, that gave that testimony this morning. Amen. I remember when I just came to Triumphant Church, he had to deal with a lot of issues. Amen. Breathing problems is, but to look what God does. Amen. God is good all the, all the time, and all the time, God is good. Thank God for Minister Hanson, who teach and who teach the night. Amen. Amen. Powerful. God is a good God. We thank God. Turn your Bibles with me, please, to Amen. Uh, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 7. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. And Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. And I climb up it with Joel chapter 2. God is good. I say God is good. And all the time, God is good. Praise God. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. And Jeremiah chapter 30, and verse 17. Then we wrap it up with Joel chapter 2, verse 23. Thank God for the second day of our revival. Next Friday night and Sunday morning. Amen. Same time, same place. Amen. Our bishop will be preaching on Sunday. Amen. We'll be preaching on Friday night. We expect great things from God. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for Zoom. Amen. Amen. And live stream. God is good. My God, prepare for your unstoppable manifestation because God is going to do it. I say you ought to prepare for your unstoppable manifestation because God is going to do it. Now, can I say that again? I said prepare for unstoppable manifestations. Because God is going to do it for you in this season. Glory to God. And I declare over your life this morning, breakthrough are coming in your life. Sudden burst of God's goodness shall trickle like, like a stream in the people of God's life in this season. Ah, it's going to be like a flood. God is about to show off his church. Amen. The nations of the world. Amen. Have to feel the impact of this Jewish church. Amen. I believe it's time to shine. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. If you have it, can you stand please? It's customary that we read the word while we're standing. Amen. For your shame, he shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, mm -hmm, their hand, their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be on to them. Jeremiah thirty seventeen. For I will restore unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, because they call thee a, an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man 
seeketh after. Joel chapter 2 verse 23. Be glad then, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month, my God. And the floors, the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten, and the conquer worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat, and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Position for divine reversal and restoration. Position for divine reversal and restoration. I want to tell you today the Lord is issuing divine reversal and restoration. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask God to give us clarity of thought and mind. Lord, to speak your word into the lives of your people. Those who are on stream, those who are at home, wherever they are, God, those in the sanctuary, they came today, God, to hear a word from you. God, I pray you give us clarity of thoughts and mind. Unctionize me to flow in the sequence of your revelation to feed the flock of God. I pray, God, that you will give us a fresh oil of the anointing this morning. Lord God, as I speak this word of life into this spirit, Lord God, that this, this spirit will capture the revelation and faith will come alive today. We bind up every spirit today that not like not to you. Every contrary spirit, every satanic resistance, we come against it right now, God, the enemies of our faith. We bind him up right now in the name of Jesus, the strong man. Oh, we bind up the strong man this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we render every diabolical spirit uh, powerless right now. And Father God, we thank you because you're in this house. It is your house. Show yourself strong and mighty on the behalf of them that trust you. God, walk up and down the aisle and through the benches and God, touch those who are here today that need a miracle. Touch those that need a breakthrough. Touch those that need a healing, restoration today. Father, we trust you even now. Even those in their homes, we bring their home under apostolic grace and order. That the spirit of the Lord will arrest the arrester. And every, every destruction in their home, we subdue and conquer it even now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. Come on, clap your hands and just give the Lord a high praise right there. Come on, clap your hands. Give the Lord a praise right here. Come on, clap your hands and give him a praise. Come on, somebody ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. Let your voice be heard. Come on, somebody ought to open your mouth and say something. Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Glory to God. You may be seated, please. Praise God. Saints of God, amen. Seeking the mind of God concerning the body of Christ and the time that we are living in. It is very important, amen, that we tap into the very mind of God to understand what is God's purpose and agenda for this generation. Because things are shifting rapidly. Amen. God is putting into place, amen, that which is necessary, amen, for the manifestation of his power and his might in these last days. It's not church as usual, amen, because God has taken the church out of the hands of men, and God has positioning men that are filled with the Holy Spirit, who are not bound by traditions and religious belief and the traditions of the elders, amen, but are walking in sync with the Spirit of God. So it's very important then that we not only, amen, come to the house of God every Sunday or when the church door is open, but we come, amen, with an agenda. We come with a purpose. We come with a plan. Uh, and the only agenda, purpose, and plan that we should come with, 
is to worship God. For the Bible said that God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Make no sense, child of God. You put yourself, put your clothes together on a Sunday morning, put your mask on, get dressed and come to the house, amen, without any expectation, without any purpose, without an agenda to worship God and to receive from the hands of God. Oh, the days of coming to church now to perform is over. The days that come in to show off your nice hat, your dress, your shoes, it's over because during the pandemic we find out that some things that we were keeping ourselves for, amen, it's not necessary. We can live without them. Oh, God. Ah, glory to God. But it's only one thing that matters, child of God, is to have that established relationship with God. Where you can go into your closet, shut the door, have an intimacy with your God, knowing that he can answer you outside of the congregation of the righteous. Notice that he can understand and he will understand and hear you even when you call in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your living room. We have found out that, that, amen, we can do things that we never plan and believe that we can do. Because there was a time of a dependency was upon the preacher. Amen. When you sick in your body, if the preacher doesn't anoint you with oil, you'll never be anointed at all. Amen. But you found out now that every home has to buy their own oil. God will change the order. Ah, because he wants the preachers to know you're not the center of attraction in my house. Oh, God is the center of attraction in his house. As a matter of fact, it is his house. And sometimes we come to the house of God and we say, Lord, have your way. Amen. Oh, that is such a traditional thing because you don't have to tell God to have his way in his house. It is his house. He's going to have his whole way anyhow. He told the John in the Isle of Patmos when John was writing to the seven churches, it was him, God, that was walking up and down in the church. He was observing their types of worship. He was observing their, amen, behavior pattern. He was watching them. He was in the midst of the seven golden candlestick. And he finds faults with all the seven churches except the church in Philadelphia. But I want you to understand, child of God, that when you come into the house of God, amen, one thing you must always remember is not about you. Amen. You've got to remember it's about Jesus. So shy. Because you don't come here to see the apostle or the bishop. You come to hear a word from God. It was in the scriptures, amen, the Bible said when they came to Jesus, amen, revival one time, the Bible said when they leave, they search the scripture to see if these things were true. Oh, I want you to understand then, so it's necessary, important, as people of God, that we not only come to the house of God, but we've got to read the word of God for ourselves. Oh, you've got to discipline yourself to fast on your own. You've got to discipline yourself to pray. You've got to discipline yourself to worship God when nobody is watching. When nobody is around you, prompting you and pushing you and pumping you. You've got to learn to praise him by yourself. Oh, you've got to praise him. And I find out during the pandemic, amen, that I've learned some things along the way. Amen, that God don't need no marches. Mm -hmm. He's fire all by himself. Glory to God. And I found out that you can stay right in your kitchen and feel the presence of God. Because the presence and the glory of God is not, amen, limited to a geographical location. It's not like in the Old Testament, child of God, when God told Solomon, amen, that wherever the Israelites are, amen, if they look towards the temple and pray, God said he will hear and answer their prayer. Oh, and that's why Daniel, child of God, while he was in Babylon, he opened the window to the east because God dwells in the east and the temple was established in the east. And the Bible said Daniel would open his door, uh, his windows, after he heard Nebuchadnezzar's decree. He defied the decree because he was a Jewish, he was Israelite. Uh, he would not, amen, submit himself to the Babylonian system. He knew from he was a boy that wherever they are, Jake, whatever problems they have, if they will look towards the city, look towards the temple, and call on the name of their generational father's God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 
God would answer their prayer. But I am so grateful today. Amen. I don't know where the temple was. I don't know where Solomon had built it, but I'm so grateful that there's a reversal and there's a shift in the order. Glory to God, where God shift out of a natural building. Glory to God and take up residency in my life, your life, and every one of us life to the point that Paul the apostle, the man who got so much revelation from God. And I don't have to introduce and tell you about the apostle Paul. Ah, how he was one that was born out of due season. By God and how God met the man on the way to Damascus. It was this same Paul that held a man got Stephen's coat while they stoned him. And while they were stoning Stephen, Stephen looked up his eyes and shout and said, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. I want you to know there's some of you in here that when the devil attack you, he'll stand up for you. Ah! God help me tonight. You know sometimes you need somebody to stand up for you. Oh, if you didn't have your mask on, I would have tell you, look at the person beside you anyway and say, he will stand up for you. Glory to God. When he stand up for you, he come to deliver. He come to set the captive free. Glory to God. So Stephen, Paul, the apostle, he wrote to the church and said, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and Christ lives inside of you. He went on to say, we are God's building. We are God's husbandry. We are the workmanship of God, created into the image of God for the habitation of God in the spirit. I don't know about your child of God, but I'm excited about Jesus. And if I was in your shoe right there, I would just clap my hands and tell him thank you. Oh, shy. Glory to God. I feel God already. Glory to God. So here in the word we are living in the timings of God because every aspect of God's purpose is fulfilled within the parameters of time and season. I told you before, not weeks, not months, not days. Because as a child of God, you operate on two different calendars. You heard me tell you that. Amen. In the time zone and in the eternal zone. So anytime you're dealing with God, Brother Jake, you cannot deal with God from a time, a man's zone perspective. It was one preacher said, God work in the invisible realm and manifest it in the time zone. Glory to God. So anytime, Bishop, you're going to touch God. You need one thing, faith. Oh, shy. Because faith is the law that governs the eternal. And anytime you're going to tap into God, you need faith to bridge you out of time into the eternalness of God. And that's why you are so, you are to be so grateful today because we are the only creatures in the earth that can operate in two worlds at the same time and still living in time. I wish you have a church in here. For God has raised us up together with him to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Tell somebody, nobody can take your seat. Oh my God. Because God has chosen you before the foundation of the world. So we're living in this time in the timings of God. Ah, we are God. Every aspect of God's purpose is fulfilled within the parameters of time and season. So this is the season of deliverance. And in our text today, God said, for your shame, you shall have double. And all of us in here, we had some shame in our lives. Don't let the suit fool you. Don't let the tie fool you. Don't let the nice red dress of God fool you. We all have had some shame in our lives. Glory to God. And even now, we still have some shameful things that we want to talk about because the memories are too painful. Oh, God help me today. Glory to God. There's some people in here, Bishop. They've been through so much bad things in their lives. So when the good things come, they can't even appreciate the good things. They think it's a trick, it's a setup. Glory to God. But I come to tell you in here, child of God, that God is a good God. God, and he knows where he brought you from. Oh God, I heard somebody say he picked me up, David. He turned me around. Oh my God. I wish if I have I feel like I'm in the 
Friday night service only me and Dana. Woo! Glory to God. I feel God everywhere. Glory to God. And I want you to understand this. He said, for your shame, your shame, your shame. I, have, I shall have double. Glory to God. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in, that, in their land, they shall possess the double. Glory to God. Everlasting joy. I like that. Not temporary joy. Not house joy. Not a husband or a wife joy. Not a new car joy. But he said it's not a job joy. Glory to God, but everlasting joy. Why everlasting joy? Because the joy that comes from God is permanent. It's a product of the Holy Spirit. And when God's joy touch your heart, the Bible said, Isaiah said, the joy of the Lord oh, is my strength. No joy, no strength. And no strength, no joy. If you sit beside somebody today, tell them the joy of the Lord. Hear what you said, Priscilla. The joy of the Lord. So it's not my joy. It's not your joy. It's not joy that comes from outside the resources. It comes from the inside. It comes from God himself. The Bible said the joy of the Lord. And Jesus said the spirit of the Lord. Oh, shy. And Micah said, but truly, I'm full of power by the spirit of the Lord. So everything is come out of the source. The main hub, which is the Lord. And God, who oh, shy, had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, oh God, I feel him in my house. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ, he is Lord. I hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Is anybody in here today? Clap your hands and say joy. Let that devil know I have joy. I had some shameful experience. Trouble on my way. I got to cry sometimes. I got some shameful experience where I'm afraid to tell somebody because they cannot love you behind your experience. But one thing you know you got. You got that joy. That's the Lord. For the Holy Ghost bring joy. Is anybody in here today? I say the Holy Ghost bring joy. You can go to a funeral and still have joy. You can lose your charm and still have joy. Oh, you can experience the bad things of life but still have joy. For the Holy Ghost inside of you, he reproduced joy. And I come to tell my devil this morning, this joy that I have, oh try. I would never have a church in here. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And God sent me to tell you today, you had some shame in your life. You had some difficulties. You have some bad things that happened to you. But God said, I'm going to give you a double. I'm going to honor you for the shame you've been through. Because you call on my name. And they that call upon the name of the Lord. Who shall, shall be delivered. Somebody show Jesus in here. Let that devil hear it. Show Jesus. Glory to God. We all sitting down like that. Clap your hands and do something, man. you got a joy in your soul that that devil can take from you. Glory to God. And he says, therefore in the land, you shall possess the double. I don't know about your child of God, but I'm getting ready for my double. Somebody show double. Job went to hell. And Job lost everything. And swore one on his body. And boils break out over his body. But in all Job's affliction, he didn't curse God. He didn't charge God foolishly. For the Bible said, he shaved his head and start to worship. That's what joy will do. Joy will make you praise God when the odds are against you. When all hell is coming against you. 
your joy will push you beyond the glory of God. And everyone that prays God in the time of affliction and the time of infirmity, he reward you for that. Somebody said double. So shy. I don't know what you came here to do today, but I came here to celebrate because I'm a part of a divine intervention. So be the God. It's not coming from a man. It's help from another place. And David said, I will lift up my eyes so shy unto the hills from whence come my help. I heard somebody say, my help, it comes from God. Somebody showed help in here. It's on the way. Send help God from your sanctuary. So be the God. And save your anointed by your right hand. Somebody showed here. For some trusted chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are safe. So regardless of what you may do, have done and what you may be going through, oh God, you gotta trust God's favor because the Bible said that he that in the eyes of the Lord are up on the right. And his ears are open to the cry. I come to tell somebody today you're about to get a reversal, a turn around, a restoration. That devil thought he could have kill you, but that devil could have kill you. But God reverses it. Somebody should reverse it. He reversed it for Abraham. He was barren, and God reversed it. He reversed it from a feeble shape. He was in Lodibar, but God reversed it. I'm a bird. Why? Why? I'm a power to get a reversal. Somebody so God is about to reverse my pain and give me health, my poor condition, and give me prosperity. Somebody so reverse in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God, come on. Clap your hands and praise him in here. Woo! 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 Bishop, I feel him in here. Come on, come on, change the God. It's about to happen. I said it's about to happen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look at somebody and say, God is about to reverse it. Tell him he's going to reverse it. He will. I said he will. Hmm. Sit down, let's talk. I'm about to learn this thing. Divine reversal and restoration is coming to the body of Christ. Divine reversal are the word I keep hearing in my spirit. For the past couple of weeks, David, the Lord is issuing divine reversal. In this season, somebody asked the question, what is divine reversal? I'm glad you asked. It is when man had say our opinion in a matter in your life and you had to come into an alignment with even though, even though you were not in agreement with it, but you just come in alignment with it because you were not in the position to defend yourself and make a decision. So what they say sound like a final authority. Who shy? Glory to God. The divine reversal, a supernatural turnaround that moves us in the opposite and positive direction. In other words, I'm going down to hell. That devil is on my track. He's pushing me into the flame. But all of a sudden, the foot man step in and turn the thing around and turn the hell open into a air conditioned room touch somebody says divine reversal they pick you up and throw you in the lion's day no? Glory to God. And the lions get ready to eat you. But, but, but the lion of the tribe of Judah that break every chain, he locked the lion's jaw. I wish you were a church in here. And you came out alive. But somebody said, divine reversal. 
They don't have a clue of some things you've been through. And God reversed it. Divine reversal is a redemptive theme woven throughout scripture extending from Genesis to Revelation. And God is still in acting divine reversal today. The Lord is taking hold of situation and issuing divine revelation, reversal into the double portion of grace and favor to see fulfillment and completion and to see things finished before it even begins. Oh God, help me here. For God told Isaiah, I know the end from the beginning. For the rest of your life is not the beginning of your life. It's the end of your life. I want you to have a church in here. So what you're going through right now is just the beginning of your life. But when it's all over, the Bible said the Lord himself. That's how the story is going to end. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout of the voice of an angel. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Do you know the scripture? child of God. Tell somebody God is getting ready to flip this script. Glory to God. No matter what your failure, no matter what your error, no matter what your hurts, no matter what the pains that you have in your life, restoration is still possible. No matter what the devil took from you. And the Bible said he come to steal, he come to kill, and he come to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody showed reversal. I know he took some of your stuff. I know he tried to take your health. He take your money. But when David came back to Ziglob, everything was gone. His house was burned down. His wives were gone. His children were gone. And David shut himself to seek the Lord. He encouraged himself in the Lord is God. I don't know what to lose today. I don't know what you're going through today. How you are feeling in here. Maybe a pain in your body right now. Afflictions in your body. Infirmities in your body. And the devil tell you you got to live with that. Tell that devil he's a liar. I don't have to live with no emails. I don't live with no pills. For he are of God little children. I never overcome the wicked one, the greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. For he was wounded from my transgression. He was bruised from my iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I said, with his stripes, I said, with his stripes, we were healed by the power of God. Divine reversal. Men might have mistreated you. Those are you hearing me today. Men might have mistreated you. And made you feel like you're an outcast. But God promised restoration. The devil might have taken away your joy. Your happiness. Your health. And other things of life. And that might made you live in misery. Feel abandoned. Feel the pain. Who oh, shy? Glory to God. Feel disheartened. But God getting ready to restore to you all the wasted years. Oh my God. Lord have mercy today. I said I have to slow down so you can get what I'm saying to you today. God is getting ready to restore your wasted years. Glory to God. Those years that you're so in tears. Glory to God. All it takes is you just to have faith 
and trust God. For he is a turnaround God. It's going to be an incredible time of shifting, fulfillment, victory, and turnaround in the body of Christ like you have never seen it before. Glory to God. All these diabolical sickness and all these satanic disease that has come against the child of God to break them down and to wrap them up in zest in life and to make you fret and walk slow and can't praise God and can't give God the glory. I heard the Bible say, glory to God, you have turned from me my morning into dancing. You have put off the sackcloth and clothed me with joy to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. I come to tell somebody here, he's turning your morning into dancing. Is anybody in here? I ever been through some stuff in life that caused you to just cry, cry, cry. Not you but me. Glory to God. You cry till you have no more tears to weep. You cry till no tears come out of your eyes. But I heard Psalmist David said, that weeping, oh shy, may endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning. Somebody show joy is coming in the morning. I was surprised to find that the word turn in this verse, it means to overturn. It means to change. It means to overthrow. It means to turn around. It means to transform. It means to reverse. My God, I feel that everywhere. Somebody better help me here today. Glory to God. This one word, Brother Jake, he turned my morning into dancing. This one word, have all this meaning. It means to overturn. It means to change. It means to overthrow. It means to turn around. It means to transform. It means to reverse. To turn upside down. Oh, Shia, inside out. I wish if I have somebody here. God is about to toss you up. To turn you upside down, inside out. But when he's finished with you, you're gonna come out with power. You're gonna come out with the anointing. For when you pray, a Pentecost was fully come. They was in one place and one accord. And suddenly, there came a song from heaven. It filled the house where they were sitting and clove in tongues like fire. Stop upon them. God is getting ready to turn you out. Turn you upside down. I shake every diabolic sickness out of your body. Somebody shout overturn. As a matter of fact, I heard the spirit said it also means bummerong. Bummerong. Mean it leave, but it's coming back. It's your bumerang season. Can I explain that? <laughs> As we know, a bumerang, when it gets throws, you throw it out, Brother Jake. Then it goes in circle and come back right to the person who threw it. Mandasa. God is going to cause every curse, every assignment from hell. To be turned right back up from the head from where it come from. Somebody show Bama wrong. The wicked shall fall in their own net. Somebody show Bama wrong. You could remember a man by the name of Haman. It was Haman that built the art, built the gallows for Mordecai. Glory to God. And expect Mordecai to get hung on the balance and the, and the gallows. But boomerang, God overturned it and God reversed it. And Haman, he got hung on his own gallows. And he had ten sons. And they killed all the other ten sons just in case they might want to come back and retaliate. God. When God brings you out, He brings you all the way out. And the affliction shall not return the second time. Oh, because God reverses it. Everybody lift your hand in the presence of God. The Lord is issuing divine reversal 
and restoration. You need to get up and rise up and speak to your body. And command it to come into divine alignment with the word of God that says with his stripes, I am here. Because restoration is a desire of life. But it can only be accessed through revelation. You need to understand that revelation is the gateway into your inheritance. God is getting ready to reverse that change. This is the season of divine reversal. I know, I know, I know what the doctor said. I know he told you the bad news. I know he gives you the facts. And I remember when my daughter got to the hospital, that's what she held on. Held on to when all hell was breaking out in her life. I said, baby, the doctor have the facts, but God have the truth. And truth always overrides facts. Because truth is unchangeable. But facts can change every day. Because facts is a man's opinion that comes from a mental ascent. But the truth of God's word is tied up into the omnipotence of God. And linked to his sovereignty. And God is not a man that he should lie. And God, because you hold on to that foundational scripture, God reversed the decision. It's your season. God is issuing divine reversal. And he's giving you back restoration. I'm going to pray for you today. I declare, I declare divine reversal for those experiencing economic distress. I speak divine reversal in, the fa in your favor to all those who are having lost of their job. Divine provisions will be your portion. You must believe that absolutely nothing, nothing is impossible with God. I, I bind up, I stand on the mountain of fire today. And I bind up the spirit of death. I reject the spirit of fear, anxiety and depression. I come against all principalities behind it. I come into agreement with Psalm 91 concerning your life. And the lives of your loved ones and family member. In the name of Jesus Christ. That you will come under the covenant of exemption. That he give his angels charge over you. Ah, in other words, he gives you divine backing. On the bushata. And when you have divine backing from God, you speak for him. He endorses you because you already know what he would do and say. He was, be, was to be physical there. If he was physically there. Your words become his word. And your action become his action. You become his representative. His ambassador. His vice regent in the earth. You've got to open your mouth and declare it over your life. That this season is my season for divine reversal. All these pain that I'm having in my body, it will reverse. I'm a pro condition, it will reverse. Ah, God, I preach to them on the other night, the siege is over. Did you hear that, David? The siege is over. So all those that try to block your path and try to lock you in with satanic embargoes and restriction and curfew, the siege is over. You've been getting a divine intervention. And God, send me this morning to tell you that he's issuing reversal. And restoration. Everybody stand. Your restoration package will never suffer reversal again. Your spiritual dignity is restored right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree over your life that whatever you may have lost shall be restored to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That where others are travailing, you will be prevailing. Because you shall prevail by the blood of Jesus. Lift your hand in the presence of God. Total health is about to be restored today, right now, right now, right now. 
Ah, you will never suffer losses anymore. As of today, God is divinely reversing it and restoring to you the years that the conqueror and the pomeroy and the locust has eaten away. God said to tell you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. For I will restore health unto you. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Something is happening in this church this morning. Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. We're living in the time and the season that angels is deployed from glory to work for the believers. Angels are ministering to you right now in your home, in the congregation, in the hospital. My God, something is happening in there. You need to do something that you couldn't do before you got here. We come under the open heaven right now. I bring you under the open heaven. Glory to God. Glory to God. That mountain is dropping sweet wine. Glory to God. The glory is about to fall in this place. With your hands lifted up a point of surrender. Glory to God. Glory to God. God said, I am going to restore you. There's restoration in the house this morning. You've got to position yourself for it. Position yourself for it. Position yourself. Glory to God. I speak divine reversal for every area of your life that does not line up to what God works for you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I smite that sickness, that pain in your body. I take authority over that shortness of breath in your respiratory system, your lungs and your high blood pressure. I take authority over that thing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I need, where are the firefighters? Where are the anointed fighters? I need you to help me back me up in here. I'm going to the devil's camp. I'm releasing you from every bondage. I'm releasing you from every sickness and disease. If you believe it today, you will receive it. Glory to God. Get in the mood. Get in the position. Position yourself. Glory to God. For divine intervention. For Jesus is in this house. Jesus is in this house. The woman with the issue of blood. She got to position herself. For divine intervention. And he, she touched Jesus. Is anybody here this morning? You're about to touch him. On a matter of fact. He don't have to touch you. Just touch him. And there's only one way. That you can touch him. Just believe. When you call on his name. I declare in this house. Divine reversal. I reverse it. I reverse every disease. I reverse your affliction. I reverse your infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Somebody better clap your hands now. And act like you got it. Act like you got it. Act like you got it. You shot a rabba koto roshanda. Act like you got it. Act like you got it. If you're sick in your body right now, just lift up your hand and say, Jesus, Oto Shai, you need a miracle. Lift up your hands and show Jesus. Open your mouth and show Jesus. The open mouth, open door. As the open mouth, open doors. It open doors for miracles. Open doors for healing. Hear my cry, O God, from the ends of the earth. Have I cried unto thee? When my heart, ah, oh God, is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong power from my enemy. I come to tell somebody here, he sent from above and he drew you. He drew you out of many waters, out of a hurry pit. And if you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you give him a praise and tell the devil divine reversal, divine restoration is coming back to me. You will recover. You will recover. You will recover your health. You will recover your strength. You recover your money. Recover your relationship. Somebody should recover. It's being reversed. The war in whom is being reversed. You're becoming fruitful again. You're getting your joy back. You're getting your peace back. You're getting your health back. Reverse, reverse. Define. Reverse her. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. Woo! 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 
Ooh. Ooh. You turn our shame into praise. You give us double for our shame. You turn our mourning into dancing. Lord, I thank you for the move of God. I thank you for breaking through. I thank you for this breaker's anointing that is in the sanctuary of the righteous. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, even those in the hospital, even those who are at home, those who are broken, those who seem like the dreams are shattered and they find themselves in a hopeless situation. God, you send me to tell them today that you are the God of all flesh and there's nothing too hard for you. You send me to tell them, God, that they should be glad. They should be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For you have given us the former rain moderately and you will cause to come down for us the rain. Send the rain, God. Send the rain. Somebody say rain. Rain, God. Rain in my family. Somebody say rain. Rain, God. Farmer my rain and the lot of rain in the first month. And God, you said the floor shall be full of wheat. And the vat shall be overflow with wine and oil. The revelatory word of God. The anointing and the Holy Spirit flowing in the house of God again. And God, who said, I will restore to you the ears that the locusts have eaten. The conquer worm and the palmer worm and the, the, the caterpillar. My great army which you sent amongst the heathens. God, these shall eat in plenty for you will reverse it and be satisfied. And they shall praise the name of the Lord your God. That has dealt wondrously with us. And my people shall never be ashamed. Father God, touch them today. Break every stronghold. Every satanic activity that is released against them. Your people that you have purchased with your own blood. God, I pray today you will reverse it. Every diabolical attack upon their lives and the person. Reverse it today, God. Reverse it, oh God. Every spirit that is released against them to cause their demise, premature death, accident. God, I pray this morning, sudden death and sudden sickness and sudden breakdown. I reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every stronghold. I come up against principalities and powers, every satanic council. And I reverse the decision that they have come to, to destroy the child of God. And I declare and decree over your life before I sit down that no weapon that formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that raised up against you in the day of judgment shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And his reward is a thief, said God. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Spirit of the Lord. Lift up a standard. God is issuing divine reversal and restoration. It's your season. Rejoice and be glad. God bless you. Bishop Brown. And where you be. Amen. God bless you. And the he'll always come. Through. Let's give the Lord a praise for the word of God this morning. For Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Lord. He's the same God as position for divine manifestation. And we give God thanks and, and praise you for the word. you may not know how. Amen. He's a wonderful God.
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He'll do it again. Yes, he will. How many of you were blessed by He'll the word of God today? Amen. It again. Oh, yes. For your shame, you shall Just receive double. Hallelujah. And where you are now. And where you be. Jesus, Jesus. And he'll always come through. He'll always come through. For you. He's the same God. He's a God that never changes. Oh, you may not know. My, my, my. May not know when. I receive it this morning. Divine reversal on my behalf in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to ask the deacons to come. Give God a praise. Let's bask in the power of the word of God this morning. Let's give God a praise for the message and the messenger. Amen. The word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pardon me, Bishop. Also, today is the third Sunday. In the same atmosphere of the Spirit, permit me to say this, Bishop. Today is the third Sunday. And I'm going to ask the Pastor Aid representative to come. Mr. Owens and Triumphant, you know what we do every third Sunday for the man of God. We thank you for giving even during the pandemic. You'll never pull back. So we know you are dependent here. You are consistent in your giving. But today I'm going to ask you to give a special offering. Into the offering for the man of God. Please get the place, Mr. Owens. I'm going to ask everyone who can sow a special seed. In the offering into the man of God's life of a pastor. He deserves this and more. A special offering of $50 to bless the man of God. Please put it in the envelope. Write your name on it. It's not a need offering. It's a special love offering gift that we are giving. The seed that leaves your hand will never leave your life. It goes into your future and brings back a harvest. I'm asking you today to be a blessing. Everyone stand, please. So Brother Donnie and Deacon Smith is standing for the church offering and also your tithes. And Sister Owens is standing for a special offering for the man of God today. I'm asking you today be a blessing in the man of God's life. Is a reason why I'm doing this because there's a secret. I tapped into a secret. That you're sown to a man of God life, a prophet. God blesses you in abundance. I even have the audacity to say sometimes the offering that you give to the church is good. But more importantly is when you sow a seed in a servant of God life. It breaks the spirit of lock over your life. God honors that. To the point that he said, oh God bless you son. To the point that he said he should give the prophet a glass of water. He reward you for that. I'm asking everyone who can give $50 in the offering for the man of God. Raise your hand. I want to make a divine declaration over your life. Priscilla Smith. One, two, three, four, five. Come. Just, just come. Just come. Just come with it before you change your mind. I know you're not going to change your mind. But come while we're counting. Just come. You, you, you come with that offering. Come with that offering. Come with that offering. That special fifty dollars offering collected for this man of God who labor in the midst. He's the general overseer of the triumphant church of Jesus Christ worldwide. And the prophet came down to Zarephath, and there was a famine in the land. And the fact that the widow woman make her a cake first, she lived through the famine. Brother David here is man. Praise God. Glory to God. You bless the man of God today and watch what God's going to do for you. 
If you don't have it, don't feel bad. If you have 20 or 30, you bless this man of God today. I will never stand here and ask for an offering for myself. Never. But I'm asking this because I know that some of you have been struggling financially. And give your offering a name. Give your seed instruction. Give your seed instruction. You're struggling financially. Your bill is a pack up. The debtors are calling you. Sometimes you're embarrassed. You sow a seed today and give your offering instruction. And break the spirit of lack over your life. Yes. Yes. I think something is about to break. Yes, 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 yes. The soil you sow into is a fertile soil. Yes, daughter. Thank you very much. You bless this man of God today. We didn't make so much emphasis last month because we understand. We don't want to put the burden on you. But today, today, you came here because you need a miracle. You want divine reversal? You want restoration? You sow in a man of God life and watch what God does. Watch what God does. Now everyone stand. Please bring your tithes and your offering. And those of you who did not have $50 to bring, bring your offering. Amen. For the pastor with a 510. Amen. Bring it. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask you all to come with your offering. And a matter of fact, I'm going to bless it right now before I change. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Woo, shy. Mama, nebosata. Because they obey this multitude of the word of the prophet God. And they have sown a seed in the man of God life. I declare a decree over their giving, their gift of love. That, oh God, they'll reap a hundredfold and beyond. The promotion that they are not qualified for. And come and favor to release upon them in the name of Jesus. To break the spirit of luck. In the name of Jesus that they will reap a harvest. Oh God, even those who didn't have to give and have a mind. God, turn it around, God. Turn it around for them, Father. In the name of Jesus, bless the tithes and offering today, God. And Lord, we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, give it cheerfully. Give it with love. Store up above. Give it with a willing heart. And watch what God is going to do for you today. God bless you. Bishop, back in your hand. Thank you, sir. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I be, oh Jesus. Say Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I be, oh Jesus, oh Jesus is my Jesus is my Everywhere I go, everywhere I be, oh. Don't you know he's mine in the morning, mine in the evening, all the day long, in him or not. He's mine in the morning, mine in the evening, all the day long, sing him up the dead Jesus is mine, nobody said Jesus. Here's mine. Oh, everywhere I go. Oh, everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Come on, somebody help me. Say, say, Jesus. Here's mine. Come on, say, say, Jesus. Here's Oh, everywhere I go. Everywhere I be. Oh, Jesus, don't you know that it's mine in the morning, mine in the evening, all the day long, sing him a song, he's mine in the morning, mine in the evening, all the day long, sing him this song, 
fact that Jesus is mine. Come on, Jesus, he's mine. Oh, everywhere I go, everywhere I be, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're getting ready to dismiss the service, but if you have not yet received the Lord Jesus Christ into your life, amen, today would be a good day for God to turn your shame into double. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we will like to just pray the sinner's prayer. And if you don't have the Lord in your life, amen, don't leave here without it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. We're going to get ready to dismiss. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you don't have the Lord in your life, you can put your hand on your heart with me right now and pray this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you now to come into my life. Oh, Lord, save me. Wash me in your precious blood. And I'll live for you the balance of my life. Fill me with the power of the Holy Ghost so that I can live a victorious Christian life. I ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. Praise the Lord, and we thank God, amen, for those that have received the Lord. Continue on. Don't stop worshiping him. Amen. I'll see you on next week. Praise the Lord. Thank God for, there was a young man there preaching along with Apostle Smith. Amen. Praise the Lord. I didn't even know where he came from, but he was preaching. When Apostle Smith stomped his foot, he said, you don't got nothing on me, brother. He stomped his foot. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. We give God all the glory and we give him all the praise. Amen. All right. We're going to dismiss the service. Amen. Today in Jesus' name. Remember we, even though the church might be closed, Amen. We have um, online services all week. I'm on each weekday at 12 noon. Saturdays for, for at noon, we come on for prayer. Apostle Smith is here live in the church Tuesday night at 6.30, Friday night at 6.30. Amen. And then we're back here on Sunday. What happened? You want more? What, he want to say something? Or you want the mic? You get the mic if you got something to say.